there. Welcome from White Pine District Library. Today we're all about fairies and things because of our theme, Imagine Your Story. And this is Michelle Rockefeller, and she is going to tell us how to make fairy terrariums, correct? Yes, correct. All right, good. Hi, Patty. Hi. Thank you for having me. We're glad to have you. And thank you for watching this video. I'm going to teach you how to make a fairy garden. It's called a container garden, but it's also a fairy garden. The first and most important thing that you're going to need to do with your fairy container is put rocks in the bottom. I bought the rocks at the dollar store, but you can pick them up out of your driveway. So why do we put rocks in the bottom? The rocks in the bottom are so if you happen to overwater, which people tend to do, then the plants won't die. Is that why there's a hole in the bottom too? Yes, okay, there, cool. there is a hole in the bottom of this container. And let me explain this container a little bit. It was hanging on the back of my shed because we live on a farm and it looked kind of, you know, shabby chic. <laughs> and I just pulled it off and we're going to use it as a container today. And it's really ugly right now, but it's going to be gorgeous. So the point of having this nasty old antique is that you can use any container you want to make a fairy garden. And I think the more unique, the better. Because if you really have a good imagination, fairies will join your world in any container, any environment. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Okay, so we have rocks in the bottom. I would actually, I should have got two bags of rocks. So get some, a good four cups of rocks out of your driveway, driveway or we somewhere. Can use anywhere from nature. Yeah, or we could buy rocks if we wanted, but we don't need to. Yep. Right? Okay. That's the most important thing, that your plants have drainage. They'll be healthy plants if they have drainage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we all overwater, and that's okay. So the next thing we're going to do is add some potting soil, of course. This will keep our plants happy, too. The most important thing about a fairy garden is healthy plants because fairies are supposed to be taking care of nature, so you want it to look like there really are fairies taking care of it. Is this a type that you usually use, yeah. a Miracle Grow? I mean, we could use anything, but that's your favorite? This is my favorite. Okay. Use Miracle Grow. Um, I've been gardening for years, and it, it's awesome. It, and you could get dirt out of your yard. I'm, I'm going to tell you, your plants will grow so much better with this potting soil. So I'm going to fill my container about half full because I'm so afraid I'm going to spill this all over the library floor. <laughs> Can you see that, photographer? Cool. Yep. Because um, you're thinking, why don't you fill it all the way up? Well, my plants have a lot of soil in them already, and we might have to add some more soil. So we've got our rocks. We have our soil. It smells really good. I'm going to add the biggest plant first, and I don't remember if I said this is an outside fairy garden. It's going to oh. grow really well in the library for maybe a week. It'll be fine um, if it's in a window, okay? But then we should put it like out on our picnic yep. table or somewhere. You sure should. Okay. Or give it away to somebody. We could use it as a prize you for the library. Yeah. We can do that. Okay, so here comes the flower part. Awesome. I'm going to tuck the soil around it. Everybody knows how to plant flowers. Now, yeah. where did you get this plant? Um, this plant I got at Countryside Floral. So okay. just so you at can, a greenhouse. But could I pick, um, could I dig out like some flowers that I knew from my, like if I had uh, violets or something growing in my yard, could I put those oh, in? Absolutely. Cheap yes. trees. Okay. <laughs> I took an old fish pond and turned it into a fairy garden and I used everything from my woods and I love it. It's so adorable. I can tell already I'm going to need some more soil. So I'm going to add that. Even it out. Now on both sides of this big plant, and you you can use any plant you like. This one's kind of big. I'm going to put a couple ivies. I think, my opinion, every fairy garden needs ivy and moss. Okay, moss, yeah. I really do. So and the ivy will kind of hang over the sides yep. too and give a little depth for it. I like that you said depth because three dimensional where you've got tall plants and short plants and plants that hang over the side is, is, I love that. And different textures too. You don't have to have all the same type of plant, different textures. Okay. So we've got some ivy on the side. Starting to look 
just so like some place like the forest like yeah. to live. Yeah. I forgot to cut these tendrils off, so I'm just going to snap them off. You don't need the, that stuff. And we need a little bit more soil. It's looking good already. I'd want to live there. I know, me I too. I was a little tiny person. <laughs> And there's online tutorials. Oh my goodness, there's some artists. You are our online tu tutorial. We are an online tutorial. <laughs> there's an artist who can make a river with goldfish in it, and she puts it in her fairy garden. That's so it's cool. It's crazy. I like them with fountains in them too, but this is just a simple use what you have at home. Honestly, I went out in my yard this morning and pulled out some plants, and I'm using what I have from home. Awesome. Now comes the moss. It's pretty dry right now, so the moss was very dry. Usually you can scoop it up with your hand, but I got a shovel. Okay. And as soon as I wet the moss and put it in the Ziploc bag, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. It now, I have a question sure. for you. Um, you know, we live out in the country, and so we can find this kind of thing, like growing on the side of a log or whatever. What if they live in town? Where would they maybe go to find, or is it, where in particular would you go to find moss like this, this beautiful moss? That's a great question. Um, honestly, did, you guys might not know this, but the um, Central Moncom Upper Elementary is on a beautiful wooded acreage lot, mm -hmm. and it's public property. I would, or the college. I would go there. Any place in the woods and find some moss. The, the they probably don't want us digging up their plants, but maybe taking a little moss off of a log wouldn't hurt anything. Sure. Right? Absolutely. I know that um, or when I went for a walk in the cemetery, there were some just there was moss growing by not not tombstones but, but rocks, and so mm -hmm. we could borrow some from some of that. I think. I hope. <laughs> So there's That's our moss, beautiful. and you can get, you can pick out the pine needles and stuff. It's never going to be perfect. I'm going to try this root that I found because I really I like, like how it. it looked like a fairy, but it might be too big. You know what? Looks good. Yeah, yeah, because it's half hiding. That's cool. Yeah, I do. I like it too. Okay. Now we get to make it look like the fairies. Can live you there. see that photographer, Megan? Can you see it, all the cool stuff in it? Yeah. Like the fairies moved in. So I picked up some, I call it pea gravel. This is aquarium stone. If you want to get pea gravel at Meyer, it comes in a really big bag. Um, if you're going to do a bunch, you might want to do that because it's very reasonable. But this is aquarium stone, and I'm going to make a path. They could probably get this out of their driveway as well, couldn't they? Sure. Wash it off. And, oh, that's so cool. We love to go to Petoskey and pick up rocks. Yeah. I pick up rocks there to use in my fairy container. I love this. Our library looks better already. And you can use your imagination. This to me looks like a habitat that the, like the a fairies hobbit might house. fly in, like a <laughs> hobbit house. And I have a little succulent here. Now where did you get that? Out of my yard. Really? Okay, so I guess you can go to Michelle Rockefeller's mm -hmm. yard and she'll dig something up. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love I'm going to. All of my flowers and stuff people shared with me, so I, You'll share. I will share. Okay. Okay, I picked up this succulent out of my yard today because I loved how it was so lime green yeah. against the dark green. It's a really nice contrast. I'm going to poke a hole in the moss and I'm going to stick it right in there. Awesome. And I think this looks pretty healthy. This looks like somewhere. I love it. Succulents really bounce back. So I just push it in there. It'll, it'll get its shape back. There. Beautiful. I love how the green and the green mm -hmm. just pop. Okay. Now, the fun part. Well, the like fairies are coming. <laughs> Doesn't look like a place the fairies would want to live. What do you think, We've Megan? got the <laughs> ivy trailing. Okay. Miss Megan is our photographer today. <laughs> I'm going to put a bench right here that matches my root. They're going to want to come sit on that. They're going to want to come sit on that. And Would it be okay if I put a little mushroom by that bench? Absolutely. I have a little mushroom here. And this will be part of the kit that um, if you want to pick up a kit from White Pine District Library, you could get. That's adorable. That's cute. I think we need more mushrooms. Maybe a couple over there. Okay. How about right there? And we, we can get some more. Okay. And this is just a little gate looking thing. I purchased these at the Dollar General for a dollar. And 
I like having just a little bit.